What's up, everybody? Well, let me uh, turn that air off. Okay, I'm, I know I'm driving. I don't, I don't care. I don't. I, I don't. Um, most epic score ever right now. Ever, 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 ever. I know it's been a long time since you guys have seen me. Um, I might just make a dedicated video to just this. Uh, this was sitting on Facebook for like an hour. This game was, this game was in the picture. Um, let's see if I can grab it right here. It'll crash. This game was in the picture upside down. Hagane. There's more. There's a lot more heavies in there. There's Casper. There's Artie Lightfoot. There's Spike McFang. Uh, so many games. And there's a lot of games that I didn't have. I'm going to upgrade my Hagane for sure. Um, I paid 300 bucks. There's 81 total Super Nintendo games. You guys can see right there. That bag is full of games. 81 games. I cannot believe this was sitting on Facebook for as long as it was. 300 bucks. It sounds a lot. I mean, you could see that. I, I don't know. A lot of people probably couldn't see. I knew right away what it was. Um, Hagane is probably you know one of the one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Um, it's really challenging, and uh, I never thought I would own it until I did. And now finding a copy in the wild, actually finding a copy in the wild is insane. Insane. I know I got that little Samson. That was through trades. Um, still a score, but not an in the wild type of score. And this is by far my most epic score. 81 Super Nintendo games. Now there was no like Mega Man. Surprisingly, there wasn't that many Mario games, or I don't know, I, I, I was in, in a hurry. I didn't really check through them that much. Um, I just made sure that Hagane, it was actually Hagane from the picture. Um, insane. I, I can't believe it was sitting for so long. Um, it's, it's, I don't know. Uh, it's just, it was my day. Today was my day. Um, I'm, I'm stoked because a, a lot of this is going in the collection. I didn't have a lot of these games. So I am insanely stoked. Casper is a hard game to find that's not messed up. And the label on it is not mint, but it's all there. And it's really clean condition. Uh, let's see if I can grab it. There you go. Casper. This is a, a hidden game. Not a lot of people know is that valuable, but it is. It's really hard to find. So, um, super stoked, super stoked. Uh, I'm gonna get home and get all this stuff uh, together and show you guys what I got. 81 games and a Super Nintendo, a lot to go through. Uh, so I'll probably make this its own video. I might throw a couple other things I've gotten in there in the past few weeks. Um, but yeah, insane, insane. It's out there, it's out there people, just hunt, just hunt. See you guys in a bit. What is up everybody? It has been a long time. Um, okay, so this video, um, you guys saw the clip before, mega epic Super Nintendo score. Um, there's a lot of games in here, so I'm dedicating just one whole video to this. Um, and I also have a garage sale video that has been, it's been like ready to go. I just haven't uploaded it. I've been taking kind of a break, you know, a lot of things going on. I had, uh, my best friend's wedding and, uh, he's, you know, he's all married and, and everything's good there. So, uh. I'm start getting back slowly getting back into doing YouTube videos and stuff so um, not you know gonna be pumping them out but they'll they'll be videos so you guys will see this one and then the garage sale one and then I got another garage sale one so um, <clears throat> so yeah let's get into it uh, let's start off with the story first um, I was it was it was like a when it was a Wednesday and uh, wasn't didn't find too many things uh, that day usually Wednesdays I find a lot of stuff I didn't find too much, and um, um, it was later in the day, like around 4.30, and I'm on Facebook, and uh, going on the marketplace, and one of the first ones I see, an ad that says, uh, Super Nintendo 81 games, and I was like, dang, I, you know, thinking, this has got to be gone, because it said about an hour ago, so I'm looking at the picture, and there was a heavy hitter in the picture, so I thought it was gone there's no way that was still gonna be there I hit her up and it took her about five minutes to get back to me and she said yes yeah, she still had it so I asked her the address and she said where am I coming from I told her you know where I was coming from and she's like well we can meet here and I was like okay you have the address to that place um, it was a gas station so she gave me the address and uh, I told I asked her uh, could you please mark the item as sold so on Facebook it immediately deletes the the item so that nobody can see it anymore and 
if you don't do that, you're going to get like a bunch of other people hitting the person up and you're going to be like halfway out there and they're going to tell you the price has gone way up and some randomness. So, um, I gave her her full asking. She was asking 300 for the lot and I sent her the offer. I think that's probably why she was probably getting a lot of people saying, would you separate the games? Would you take this much? Would you take this much? I don't know if anybody saw that game in the picture because her picture was upside down. Well, the games were upside down, so it was kind of hard to tell, but I knew right away. So I just hit, you know, full asking and I sent her the offer and she hit me up. Um, so I got out there and yeah, everything was legit. Um, I was kind of worried driving out there because it's just, you don't see that a lot nowadays on online when you're buying stuff. So it was the same thing when I bought Flintstones. It, you know, it's just, it's random. There's a lot of people that seem to post ads that are fake just to, to troll people. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. So this first bag, these are games that I already had. But the cool thing about this, um, there is a lot of games that I'm putting into the collection. And that is what you want to see when you get big bundles. Games that you didn't have. And there was a lot of them that were higher priced. 100 plus games that I didn't have. So I'm super stoked to get them. So I already separated them from the games that I'm... Uh, that The games that I'm not keeping that I'll show you first. And then the games that I am keeping. Um, okay. So, and uh, the, when, I, when I got home, there wasn't 81 games. There were 72 games. Um, but... There was manuals in here, and there was manuals for some really good games like Harvest Moon, uh, Lufia 2, uh, Breath of Fire 2, and none of those games were in there. So I, you know, I hit her back up and told her if you happen to find any of these games to, to let me know, but I don't know. All right, so let's get into it. So we got Batman Forever, and surprisingly, there was no Mario World, there was no Mario Kart. Um, there was the manual for Zelda, but no Zelda. Uh, Wings 2, Aces High. Wheel of Fortune. Some of these games I've already um, upgraded the label in mine, so the upgraded ones are up there. Uh, Super Caesar's Palace. Some of these games also came with the manual. I know this was one of them. Pinocchio. It's a little more uncommon one to find. Uh, Super Empire Strikes Back. Star Trek. Super Scope 6. Uh, Tasmania. The Jungle Book. And there wasn't, there's like, there was like no sports in here. Like maybe a couple, I think, but it was a really good lot. Uh, Jungle Strike, Bust a Move, Speedy Gonzalez, Los Gatos Banditos. I said that kind of weird. Top Gear, Desert Strike, Sim City. Metal Combat. This is actually a really good uh, Super Scope game. I remember um, when I first, like, when I was a kid, that was one of my favorite Super Scope games. I would play the crap out of it. Uh, Pitfall. Uh, B.O.B. This is actually a pretty cool game. Vegas Stakes. <coughs> Roadrunner's Death Valley Rally. Dragon's Lair, a game, you know, it's not very valuable or anything, but it's kind of uncommon. I don't ever really see it. There's a lot of uncommon games in here. Another one I really liked, uh, Battle Clash. That was a really good Super Scope game. Uh, Battleship. Earth Defense Force. Super Adventure Island. Where in Time is Carmen Sandiego? And I think there was two of these, two copies of that. Uh, Mario Paint, Family Feud, uh, Doctor Franken or the Adventures of Doctor Franken. Almost done with this bag. Eye of the Beholder, Tom and Jerry. Where in Time is Carmen San Diego? There's the other copy. So. Actually, I didn't even notice that. Never mind. That is where in the world is Carmen San Diego. I'm glad I caught that because I know I don't have, I have where in time, but I don't have where in the world. So yeah, there you go. I didn't even know. <laughs> but definitely uh, glad I caught that one. 
uh, Stargate. And there was there was two copies of this one. Um, Wanderers from Ease Three and Super Battle Tank. A couple more in here. A few more. Uh, Arkanoid. Draken. This is this game is sick. Cover doesn't match the game, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, Phalanx. Really, really good game. And Super R-Type. And then also... The Game Genie. Came with all, all the books and stuff. So, Alright, those are the games that I'm um, not keeping, except one of those wearing time. <coughs> um, these ones, I am keeping... Some of them I thought that I did have, but I guess that I didn't. And then four of them in here, uh, my buddy wanted them. So we've got uh, Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage. It's like weird. I didn't, didn't thought I had that one. Uh, Skull Jagger. The Hunt for Red October. Uh, Carrier Aces. Cutthroat Island. Um, Young Merlin. X Zone, and this one's kind of cool because I mean, it doesn't have an end label on it. There's no title for the end label right there, so I don't know why they did that. But uh, Super Strike Eagle, Warlock, Shanghai Two, Clue. It's like when you get big bundles like this, you, it, it's like weird weirds you out how you know, like some really common stupid games you're missing. Uh, sea Quest, Uncharted Waters. This was one of the ones I used to trade for that little Samson. So pretty cool to get that one back. Uh, Ob Obitus or Obitus or whatever. Monopoly, Thunder Spirits, King Arthur's World, Bonkers. These four right here are the ones that um, I'm gonna hook my buddy up with. He picked them out. Uh, Mario's Time Machine, Jurassic Park, Tin Star, and Animaniacs. Pushover, definitely an uncommon one that I've never seen before. Uh, Adam's fan Family Values. Okay, now we're gonna get into. Uh, some better ones. Here's that other copy of Wanderers. That's the one I'm gonna keep. Um, okay, this one right here. Um, this is definitely an uncommon one. I've never seen this one before. Prince of Persia 2. So that one, uh, pretty stoked to grab that one. These last what, six are some amazing, amazing ones and. When I first got there, um, there was uh, three of them that I knew. One that I saw in the picture, which I'll show you that last. And then uh, when I got there, um, I saw one sticking out and then another one. And these games are really hard to find. So first off, when, when I was digging through, you know, I'm surprised by these ones. Uh, Tecmo, Secret of the Stars. So happy to grab that one. Uh, Super Adventure Island 2. Uh, Artie Lightfoot. So, I mean, the, they're just going up at this point. Um, this one, I was surprised by this one. Um, super, super stoked to get this one in the bundle. Um, this game is definitely going up in value. And uh, it's a pretty sweet game. Uh, the Twisted Tales of Spike McFang. Super stoked to grab this one. And then, this game is probably one of the hardest games to find. Um, and especially the only times I've ever seen it, the label has been insanely messed up and, um, it, it is just definitely a really hard to find game and I'm so happy to have this in the collection, Casper. So that one right there. And then the whole reason that, um, I was stoked to find this bundle, um, cause this was a label upgrade for me. I will show you the one that I found and then I'll show you mine. Um, I saw this, it was upside down. I just, I still am in shock uh, as to why this was up for an hour. Um, I caught everybody slipping, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Um, but the whole reason I went out, Hagane. Not a game you see very often. 
And uh, this was my copy, as you can tell, side by side. This one is pretty jacked up. Um, not horrible, but, you know, it's still, still, I mean, this is still a sought after game, even in this condition. Um, but these are both legit, and it's crazy to be holding two copies of one of the hardest to find Super Nintendo games. So, um, super stoked. And I'm just happy, because when I got this one at first, I thought this is the last time I'm ever going to find one like this. I traded for it. Um, so, just crazy to that I found one in the wild. So, definitely happy that I upgraded. Alright, so, I don't know if you guys can hear my dog barking in the background. She's barking at nothing, probably, like she always does. Alright, so now, this was a surprise. There was a whole bunch of manuals in there. There's a lot of really good ones, too. Um, first off, you got Zelda with the map. Uh, Pac-Man Pac -Man 2, The New Adventures. That one wasn't in there. This game wasn't in there. Spawn. Um, I didn't see Tetris Attack. Uh, Skull Jagger, that one's a little messed up, but I'm going to keep probably most of these manuals. I, I have a few of them. Uh, Tarzan Untamed. What is this? I don't even, this isn't even a Super Nintendo manual. I don't even know what this is. This is like for GameCube or something, I don't know. Um, this one would have been cool if it was in there, but this one wasn't in there. Uh, Soldiers of Fortune, but I'm definitely going to keep that one because I don't have that game. Uh, Draken. Tin Star, Pinocchio, Pushover, Star Trek, The Next Generation, uh, we got Top Gear, Bonkers, Super Caesar's Palace, this one definitely wasn't in there, uh, Act Razor 2. Uh, this one wasn't in there. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. The Hunt for Red October. Stargate. Star Fox wasn't in there. Uh, Battle Clash. Speedy Gonzales. This is another one that you know wasn't in there. Uh, Final Fantasy three. This is these manuals are starting to get better now. Tecmo Secret of the Stars. Lufia 2, another game that wasn't in there, unfortunately, but stoked to get the manual. I don't have the game yet, but I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, Breath of Fire 2, so now I just need the box. Uh, the manual is kind of wrecked, but either way. Um, Super Castlevania 4, um, I think I have this manual, but mine is jacked up, I think. I don't know. Uh, another one I'm happy to get, Twisted Tales of Spike McFang. This one, I wish the game was in there. I mean, I have the game, but, you know, it'd be nice to get, a, like, a label upgrade. Uh, Harvest Moon. So, definitely a hard-to-find manual. Um, super stoked to get that one. I think this one is in here. It's kind of, it's, this is probably it. Um, nope. Well, we got Yoshi Safari. This is, like, just the front cover. And then, I, th I think this is for Lost Vikings. I don't know. Or no, this one is uh, Daffy Duck, and then there was something for Lost Vikings in there. Um, the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, which that one wasn't in there. Goof Troop, another one that wasn't in there. Uh, Adam's Family Values. Arkanoid. Tasmania. Donkey Kong Country, which wasn't in there. And Bust a Move. And then we got like posters here. Um, this one is from Mario's Time Machine. So definitely, I'm gonna definitely hold on to stuff like this. And then this one is ActRaiser 2, I believe. Yes. So poster for ActRaiser 2. So this was really cool. You know, there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Um, 300 bucks for the lot. Amazing deal. Amazing. And to find all of those, like. I don't know about rare. I mean, Hagane is probably you can consider that one rare, but the other ones, I mean, Casper, I would think Casper is pretty rare. It's, I think it's undervalued probably for how hard it is to find, especially in good condition. Um, that is one of those like sleeper games, you know, it's like not a lot of people will know, you know, it's Casper, but this game is actually really hard to find. And in this condition, I'm, I'm stoked to have this one, so, um, but. The whole lot, I mean, is just amazing. You don't find lots like this, you know, nowadays. So, 
I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely happy to find it. Um, and getting that many games to put in the collection, usually I find big lots, and I already have like majority of the games. I get to keep like three of them, so the rest just ends up being sold or sold or traded. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Um, I think that's it. I'm not. I, I have a lot of other stuff to show, but I think I'm going to save that, you know, for the, the, cause I haven't, I still got to film, you know, cause this past weekend I did garage sales. So I'm just going to throw everything into that one. And then I, like I said, I have another video that's like on deck, ready to go. Um, I kind of just took a break for a while. So, um, I'm going to start getting back into it and I'll show you guys all of that stuff. I got stuff from uh, GameStop and stuff like that. So in the next video, um, I'm going to show you a, like a GameStop nightmare game that that came so um i'll show you guys that stuff um but yeah this is going to be it for this video slowly going to get back into it so you guys hopefully you know see more videos and stuff um i haven't stopped hunting just because the videos have stopped i haven't stopped hunting i, I grind every day um I'm, i think i'm gonna i'm gonna link my uh instagram in here and you guys can see um what i find every day because i post regularly my finds on instagram so um it's uh that zombie guy 11 if you you know want to see it but i'll, I'll post a link you know to the instagram and you guys can uh, check it out and, and you know give me a follow and uh see what i find every day you know there's stuff that i'm not keeping or whatnot and you guys want to trade for it or whatever um shoot me a, a dm and and uh we can make some trades happen um but yeah that is all i got for you guys for this one so i will see you next time Thank you guys very much for sticking with me, being subscribed, and uh, just, you know, being there, watching my videos. Thank you guys a lot. I'll see you guys next time.